Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about Azure Container Apps. And from the Azure Container Apps, how to deploy custom app application image to container apps using Azure Container Registry. So before we get to start how to deploy the custom app image, let me explain what is Azure Container App. Azure Container App enables you to run containers based on web applications and microservices using a managed serverless platform. And it allows you to run multiple container revisions. Container apps are useful for an organization looking to offload the management of the hosting and security of the container application. The system fully supports the distributed application runtime, which makes it easier to cross communicate between multiple container application. The container app lets you manage and publish a new release to the environment using CACD mechanism that enables the DevOps team to achieve the goals for continuous release. And also the apps can scale automatically based on the demand. And, it, and also it is easier to upload a Docker image to run the app. And also we can easily integrate with the Azure Container Registry, which will enable the environment to be fully automated where new releases to the registry automatically will update the container app accordingly. Now let's start the demo on deploying custom app image to container apps using Azure Container Registry. So before we do that, I have opened a, a development environment where I have logged into the Azure login via Azure CLI. So Azure CLI means it's a command line interface provided by the Azure with a set of commands we can use to create or manage Azure resources. So I have used AZ login followed by that my username and then I have given the password. So once you have, we have logged into the Azure CLI, you can open Azure portal. I have already logged into the Azure portal. So there we can go to the container registry. You can see it here. So before we get started or to create an Azure container registry, what is Azure container registry? So it is a managed registry service offered by Azure to store and manage container image and related artifacts. We can use Azure Container Registry along with our existing deployment or development process. And also we can use this ability to build automated deployment tasks using trigger-based build on source code, commit and base image updates. So now already I have created a container registry here. If you can see it here, when I click on the, uh, this cloud and container registry, if I go to repositories, right, there will be uh, in there only we will be having those images and those things. So to go to there, you can click on uh, repositories. Currently, it will be showing us uh, no result. Why? Because we haven't uploaded the, uh, the image uh, which we want to deploy, right, uh, to the container app. We are yet to upload. Uh, so currently, if you see, it, it is showing as a no result. So here, why here is a place. Once we done the upload to the container registry, it will be listing down here. So now I am going to my development environment. So I am going to clone the repository. Let me refresh it before giving that command. Okay. Now, uh, this is a git clone command. So from here, I'm going to clone the repository. And after that, I'm going into this cloud drive uh, JavaScript Tetris folder, and I'm going to list it down. So now let's see. So here you can see it, uh, it has been successfully cloned and also it is listing down the what are all the files are inside the folder. Now what we are going to do is we are going to store our 
Azure container registry name and followed by that we are going to run a, a quick task to build the image and push the app slash Tetris repository there, right? So that will be in ACR. So by how to do that? First, we will be storing my ACR name, right? So this is the command to store my ACR name. And after that, I am going to give AZ ACR build app traces 1.0 and the ACR name. So if I click on it, three. Now you can see it is packing the source code into to upload and it, it is now queuing and here you can see the pro, what all the process are happening and here you can see uh, the image is getting successfully ordered. Here you can see it is pushing the image to our Azure container registry. Now here you can see uh, it has been successfully completed. So to verify, I am going to Azure Container Registry. I'm going to do refresh. Here you can see our uh, our repository has been successfully uploaded in here. So for now, we have added the custom Docker image to the Azure Container Registry using Azure CLI and the code environment. So now what we are going to do is Azure Container App from the Azure Container App, we are going to create a uh, revision. Why? Because if you go to the Azure Container uh, Azure Container app, there will be an uh, by default will be there. So I have already created that. Let me show it. Uh, container apps. So here you can see it, right? Let me click on it. And here you will get the application URL as well. So once we have deployed, we can easily see whether the application is running or not. We can, can easily able to identify it. So this particular URL, it will be showing a basic uh, uh, web page for the Azure Container App. So here, when we are doing revisions, right? So those are all the immutable snapshot of the Container Apps. So the revisions are automatically created on the uh, first time deployment and on subsequent updates to the Container App image. Now let's wait for some time to see the, the default container app window. It will be displaying here. And also if you want to see the existing, uh, what is the container has been configured, you can easily go in here and here you can, here you can see, right? As I said, no, this is a simple hello world container has been running in the Azure container apps. So to, to modify, or to use the container which we have uploaded in the Azure Container Registry, right? So how to do that? You can click on Edit and Deploy. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the existing one. So even if I do the edit the existing one, it will create a new revision of it. So I'm giving the name as custom. Container image and the image source we need to select. Uh, the image source we have it in Azure Container Registry. So I'm selecting Azure Container Registry. And also I need to select the Azure, which Azure Container Registry I need to use. So I'm selecting it here. And it will list down the image app slash this and the image tag is 1.0. And the remaining things I'm just keeping as default. So once it has been saved, I am going to click create. So when I click on create, it will be doing a revision, right? So it, here you can see uh, deploying a new revision for our app. If I click on it here, you can see uh, what are all the revisions are happening for this Azure Container app. We can easily get the details from here. So our deployment has been successfully completed. So once this has been provisioned, we can go to the application URI and we can see. Let's wait for some couple of minutes to load it. It 
there you go this is the application is been running from azure container app so here we have created a container revision uh, referencing the container registry for custom image using azure portal even if i press hyphen it will be working fine here you can see it right you can easily build or deploy a custom app image from the azure container app thanks for watching the video